Fifteen years later, Wicked continues to be a worldwide phenomenon. But what is it about this show that keeps audiences lining up at the box office? Part of what makes Wicked such an incredible musical is Stephen Schwartz's score. Today we are going to go through our picks for the top five best songs in this swankified production. Number five. The Wizard and I. This classic I Want song is the first time we get to hear Elphaba sing. After being recognized for her magical abilities, Elphaba opens up to the audience about her insecurities and her hopes for the future. She is not the wicked witch that we expected her to be. Rather, she is a bright-eyed and naive young woman who clearly stands out from the crowd. While this song foreshadows her ultimate demise, it still makes the audience root for the green girl's success. Number 4. No Good Deed The antithesis to The Wizard and I, here we see a once hopeful Elphaba reaching her breaking point. In a desperate attempt to save Fiero, Elphaba recounts her good intentions that have resulted in pain and heartache for those she loves most. This powerful song demonstrates Elphaba's downfall and her ultimate transformation into the Wicked Witch of the West. Number 3. Popular. This is the first time that we see a blossoming friendship between Galinda and Alphaba. Popular gives us insight into who she is and what motivates her in the first act of the play. While providing plenty of comedic moments, Galinda also genuinely tries to help Alphaba become more confident. Ending in a heartwarming moment where she puts her pink flower in Alphaba's hair, we see that pink really does go good with green. Number 2, For Good. This song marks the end of Elphaba and Glinda's journey together. The witches acknowledge the wrongs they have committed, but ultimately forgive and accept each other. This song provides recognition of the profound impact that friendship can have on someone's life. Although Elphaba and Glinda must part ways, they can be content in knowing that they have become better people as a result of knowing each other. Although these songs didn't make it into our top five, here are some honorable mentions. Number 1. Defying Gravity Easily the most recognizable number from Wicked, Defying Gravity marks the moment when Alphaba chooses to defy the wizard and do what she believes is right. In doing this, she throws away everything she has worked for and becomes an enemy of Oz. Alphaba demonstrates that doing what is right is often in opposition of doing what is easy. She doesn't let anyone hold her down and instead chooses to do the impossible and defy gravity.
These were our top 5 favorite songs from Wicked. What do you think? Please leave your opinions in the comments section and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more content. Thanks for watching!